Hey, YouTubers and makeup junkies and everybody, this is Michael Scott coming at you. And today is the 19th. Six more days left till Christmas. Um, I got a couple packages today. When I was talking to you guys um, in a previous video, I was talking about launches when <clears throat> you can't get what you need from a Macy's or a Nordstrom's or whatever on the day of a launch, or you get what you want and you still want more, then call a Macy's in Florida or a state that's an hour or two ahead of you right as they are launching or opening and uh, you can do an order over the phone. So I managed to get you know extra items that I <clears throat> wanted that I couldn't get at my local Macy's here, which in this case is going to be all three of the Rihanna lipsticks, the Riri Wu, Bad Girl Riri, and Pleasure Bomb. Let's make sure that these are the all three of the right ones. <clears throat> now these totaled forty nine fifty, and Macy's just like Mac, you know, fifty dollars, and you get free shipping. So uh, I had to order an extra item. In this case, I just ordered one of these sponges because I'm always needing these. So yeah, that came and. I did actually three orders, so two of these arrived today. I'm assuming the other one's going to arrive tomorrow, but um, we'll see. But I ordered an extra item with each three-pack of lipsticks, so we shall see what... It's interesting how they always do them a little bit differently. Like this one has a receipt. It has a return mailing label in the event I need to. This one has, it looks like, a fourth lipstick, which might be the RuPaul one, the Viva Glam number one. Yeah, so it's just Viva Glam number one, which is uh, RuPaul, who was the first person that launched the Viva Glam line. So it's just kind of a nice dark deep red. You can look at the advertisements for it. You see RuPaul making all the letters in the Viva Glam, but yeah, and then three more of the Riri lipsticks. Um, another thing I ordered that actually arrived today. What else is in here? Let's see, another receipt. Interesting. Um, another thing that arrived today that I ordered is just a Christmas present, and I'm sure. Um, my mother-in-law doesn't watch these videos, so I can show them. She likes to collect these old little tins, these twinings one. You know, I've noticed one up on her shelf. Um, so, I'm, actually, this is the Queen Mary 4-ounce tin. Um, this has the round lid on top that pops off. I just thought it'd be interesting for you guys to know that these things are collector's items. Like, I've got the new one, which I was planning on giving to her. This has just the pop, pop off top like so. It actually still has tea in it. I use a tea ball. Um, it's like a metal ball that you just put your loose tea in and then throw it into your cup. Because um, I prefer tea that way. But So these are the new ones, but if you find the old ones that have the round tops on them, like I paid 20 bucks for this one. No, I paid $30 for this one online, which is the Queen Mary tea. It has the round top, like I said, it pops off. And then I got this really large orange Pico one that I paid $20 for on um, eBay. And there was a little bit of a bidding war going on for these, but you know, I wanted to get her and my father-in-law some things that um, were kind of personal to them and to their collections that they have. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that she's going to like these. I don't know that she'll ever know how much I paid for them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those came today. I've got for my father-in-law, he's got like a bar down in his basement and he has um, signs that he kind of collects and keeps down there. So I picked up uh, some old Coors signs. My dad worked at Coors for 35 years and I found a guy on eBay who grew up in Golden and also worked at Coors. Well, he had an old Herman Joseph's mirrored sign which Coors doesn't make anymore. It was an old Coors brand. Um, that's selling for 65 on eBay, but I got kind of a bulk deal when I bought three things from him. 
Um, I also got a Coors Arctic Ice, which is another beer they don't make. It's um, a mirrored one as well. Those are really good ones to get. They really skyrocket in value. I have this one from my dad um, from when he worked at Coors, and it's just a red one. It says Coors America's Fine Light Beer, and it's in a wooden frame. It's $225 on eBay and other sites, like $179 on another site. So, um, you know, those are really great ones to get. The mirrored ones, the glass ones of the old advertisements from like Coors, beer, any alcohol type things. Um, but that Coors one I know in particular, those definitely go up in value. I also got them this, it's a small triangle light that juts out from the wall. It's almost like a marquee, but it's really small. It's probably like this big, you know, in a triangle that comes out from the wall. But it's got a plug. The plug is like way old. It's round. And has the two prongs coming out of it. You can tell it's like 50 or 60 years old at least. Um, but I can't find anything on it. The guy grew up in gold and worked at Coors in um, high school and college. And he'd never seen that sign either. So he moved to Nebraska and found it out there. And so I got that for him as well. But um, So we don't even really know what to value that at. So yeah um so you can do kind of antiquing on ebay as well it, it can be costly it can be can be cheap like i found somebody that had the cooler sign for 65 dollars, but they want 45 for shipping so um because elliot broke it two years ago oh god i hate to say that because it's just devastating to me because it was the only thing i had from my dad um aside from a coolers coat but the sign was a big deal uh, so I'm looking to replace it, and, you know, I'm just kind of scouring eBay. You know, they've got expedited shipping as one of their options right now because it's Christmas. Everybody's offering that, and I just kind of want to, I don't need it for Christmas. I need it as a replacement, so um, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for that. But, uh, yeah, that's a really one of the great pieces of advice that I can offer you when it comes to Mac and getting items you want from special collections. If you can't get through online, like I got into the order screen at 10, 11 a.m., which is 11 minutes after it launched, <clears throat> and everything was sold out. The eyeliners, the lipsticks, everything that I wanted, gone. So, um, you know, I immediately, well, I ran out to my Macy's to pick up what I wanted. I dropped Elliot off at another Macy's to pick up some. And then um, when we got home, we realized we were out of this, this, and this, or we didn't get this, this, and this. So, um... I just called a Macy's in Florida at 12 o'clock our time, which, or I'm sorry, at 10 o'clock our time, which is 12 out there. Does that work out right? Let's see. They're two hours ahead of us. Interesting. Usually I'd call, I guess I'd call a state behind us, but you can always ask your Macy's counter to search a store that has them in stock. Like this case happened to be, um, Macy's at Florida Mall on Orange Blossom Trail, so they had them in stock, and I just called into the phone order for through them. So you do have to make sure that you're stored in their system as far as like your name, address, email, all that stuff, and your credit card, because they can't process orders without that. So you know, go to your local Macy's, make sure they have you in their system, so then you can do phone orders and be able to get things that you want from other stores when yours is out because my store only got two of the lipstick it's just ridiculous um but that's it all right guys this is michael scott saying have fun have fun with makeup bye